Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby and this is my review of Demon's Tier Plus. This game comes out June 9th, 2020 for the Nintendo Switch and it goes for $9.99 US. I covered this game before when it originally released on Steam early last year and it has now been ported to the Nintendo Switch. So is it worth picking up? Let's talk about it. All footage you're seeing today is taken straight from my Let's Play channel. I did a gameplay preview, so if you'd like to check that out, I put a link to that in the description below. Demon's Tear is a roguelike game developed by Daniel Fernandez Chavez and was published by Diabolical Mind. The story takes place a thousand years after a king who has been given into darkness destroyed almost all of humanity and flooded the world with monsters. Peace eventually returned. But after a huge earthquake, a giant hole appeared and a party of heroes decide to take on the evil that resides within. If you've played a roguelike game like this before, like The Binding of Isaac or Enter the Gungeon, you'll kind of know what to expect. Demon's Tear doesn't really shake up the formula too much, but it has just enough to keep you addicted with arcade-like action and unlockables. You begin the game as a character simply known as the Knight. You enter the town and from here you'll have some options to explore. First there's the pub where you'll unlock other characters to play as, a blacksmith to unlock new weapons, and a relic store to obtain consumables that you'll need throughout the game. After preparing, you'll head on over to the giant hole and begin your roguelike journey. This kind of plays like a twin stick shooter with skills. Move with the left thumbstick and point and attack with the right stick. The knight, for example, will shoot out swords while the wizard will shoot fireballs. They can be changed and upgraded through the blacksmith. Each character has a dodge mechanic where after activating it, you'll shoot out a one second aura that deflects projectiles. Classes also have their own distinct skills. The knight has a temporary defense up and the wizard has a giant fire explosion. These all have cooldowns and can be powered up via upgrades to your stats. One aspect that I like about Demon's Tear is that even though every class starts with different health pools, attack, defense, speed, and more, you can upgrade your stats to your liking. You'll gain gold by defeating monsters, opening chests, and destroying breakables like barrels. Between each floor, you'll get the chance to spend that gold in various stats. You can also make a knight who has extreme speed, or a wizard who has low health, but their skill does massive damage. This game does have permanent stat buffs via treasure chests that last for the run. However, I kinda wish there were some gameplay enhancing buffs like double attacking, dodge chance, or even health regen. It just seems a little lackluster that they're strictly stat buffs. So each floor is littered with chests, breakables, and enemies. There are different floor missions that must be completed before you can advance. These range from defeating all monsters, blowing up all barrels, or finding a specific chest. There is a timer that is shown at the top of the screen. If it runs out, you'll be pursued by a horrible monster called the Reaper. He goes through walls and does major damage, so you have to be quick. At first, I really didn't like the feature of the Reaper. The timer goes down even during boss fights. But after a while, it kind of grew on me. Each run is meant to be a short arcade-like experience, so be prepared to go fast. After a couple of floors, you'll reach a boss that you have to defeat in order to move on. These are probably my favorite parts of the game. Compared to the small character sprites you control, these bosses are massive and have good looking animations. Throughout your run, alongside gold, you'll obtain D coins. These coins are used in the village to unlock classes, buy blacksmith upgrades, and relics at the store. If you die in the dungeon, you drop all your coins, but it can be retrieved by getting back to your death spot and picking up your souls back before you die again. The only way to bank your D coins is to either finish the run or use a magic rope that can be bought in town to teleport back to base. All of your dungeon progress resets, but it's part of the charm. Demon's Tier Plus is a pretty fun game. Like I said before, it doesn't break the mold, but there's enough content to get you addicted for a while. The combat is quick and arcade-like, and the push your luck aspect decision of banking your D coins is pretty interesting. I'm going to end this one here. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe for daily videos. Check out the gameplay video I have of Demon's Tier Plus on my Let's Play channel, join our Discord, and follow me on Twitch. I'll be ending this video with a boss fight I had during one of our runs. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next time. Over here, boom, was a little arrow to the bottom right, so at least it's nice enough to give you some direction. Oh, check it out. Plus one attack. Yeah, it's not... I think those are just like straight stats, which is fine, I guess. Doo -doo. Where are we going, huh? Oh, it's open already. <laughs> okay. S sucks for that, girl. More speed. Okay. This, is this the boss next? 
the boss. Yep. Okay, we've got more speed. Speed and distance on this one. Oh, it's a new boss! Alright, max uh, HP up or whatever. Bullet hell! Well, not much of a bullet hell. Huh? It's only the first tier one. Yeah, we're doing it! Holy shit! Oh, uh oh. <gasps> I got caught! I got caught on the wall. Let's take a good look at this boss, man. What the balls? Alright, let's go. I got this. Ah! <laughs> Damn you! Scoob Steve. Yo, okay. Use my dodge. AKA uh, freaking energy blast. Keep moving. This is why we upgraded our speed, huh? Wait, if those guys. Oh, God. If those guys don't shoot projectiles, and I was gonna keep walking in a circle. The faster we kill them, the better. Nice music, though. I don't know why we're doing crits. Dude, I'm getting too close. I can't dodge it. So you have to stay far back. So distance is extremely important. Or at least stay down because it looks like it's coming from the top of his head on the sprite. Yeah, that's really annoying. Uh oh. Alright, it's probably. Okay, for this boss, stay at the bottom. The origin of his huge attack comes from the very top. The Genesis. Pew, 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 pew. Achievement Earthworm. Let's watch it blow. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, snap. Give me that. Give me that shit. Nice. Pop home. Crystal Sculptor. Upgrade. More damage. More damage. <laughs> A little bit of health. Straight damage. Okay. So we can grab our stuff? Can we just keep going though? After we get it? Because we're doing way better in terms of health. I think once we get overwhelmed, we should probably head back. Because so far we got a lot of health. Good thing we got the attack, man. Look 